Hey, before we start this tutorial, I'd like to announce the winners of this week's competition. The winner of our global high score competition is Mad Yoshi, who scored an incredible 255. And then the winner of the daily entry is Bsmith950. And so if you're one of these two people, then please check your email because we'll be sending you your Amazon gift card. I also want to thank everyone else that participated in this competition and please check back in the near future for our next competition. Hey everyone, how's it going? For this video, I have a quick debugging tutorial. And the problem that we'll be examining in this video is one that was brought up by two of our customers. After downloading some of the packages on our website and importing it into their projects, they found a problem where none of the UI components could be found. So for example, if you import our PUN2 matchmaking add-on and you go to one of the demo scenes, if all you see is a black background, then this problem is most likely happening to you. And as you can see, when I select one of the UI objects in my demo scene, you can see in the inspector that there are missing components and there's a little yellow warning sign where the component should be. Now this problem can occur when you take a Unity package that was developed in a newer version of Unity and you try to import it into an older version of Unity. And just to be clear, this problem doesn't have anything to do with the package itself as we have double and even triple checked our packages. But the problem actually has to do more with the Unity editor or the editor version. As you may be very familiar with, the people at Unity seem to live for updates. Sometimes it seems like you seriously can't go a week or two without having a new version of Unity. Not that that's a bad thing, but if you're always trying to stay up to date with the latest version of Unity, it can be a little overwhelming. Recently, in the late updates of 2019, Unity pushed a version of their editor which changed a lot of the interface. I believe it was at this point that they also made changes to the UI components. And as they made changes to those scripts, they lost their backwards compatibility. Now, as I was researching possible solutions for this problem, came across a number of people saying that I should delete the library folder of my project and then reopen Unity. This method has solved problems for me in the past as Unity will recreate the library folder if it doesn't already exist. But after doing this, I found that the UI components were still missing. So instead, there's really only two possible solutions for fixing this problem. If you want to make maintain your older version of Unity, then all you have to do is go through each object and prefab in your project and reassign the UI components. However, this method may be difficult to perfectly recreate all the original settings of those components. The second method, and what I would suggest you do, is that you just update your Unity editor to a compatible version for your Unity package. So if I close this project and I reopen it with a 2019 version of the Unity editor, you'll notice that once it's opened, all the references to UI components have been restored. I still have errors in my project because I haven't imported the PUN2 plugin. But there you go. That's one way to fix missing UI component scripts. Now just a reminder, this isn't a problem caused by our Unity package itself, and it can occur with any Unity package that was developed in a newer version of Unity. Now I hope you find this this information helpful. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.